Well, hello and welcome back to Natural Black Gully. I'm Noe. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away for a while, but I'm back and today we are going to be doing a short Q&A on natural hair and some other questions that you guys asked me. Please, before we move forward into the Q&A, I want you to please ignore the background noise in this video. There is no okay, I'm going to try to make my voice very loud so you guys can hear me and I'm going to add some background music to it so that I don't know. I've written the questions down and I want to dive straight into the video so we don't waste any of your time okay okay but before that i want you to do me a simple favor please subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed to the channel and if you subscribed and you're watching this video i just want to say thank you for returning to my channel so let's get right into the questions Okay, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go straight to the answers so I don't waste much of our time. But if I've answered these questions before in details, maybe on my Facebook page or Instagram or my blog, I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you guys can go read it in details. So, yeah. so the first question here is from Instagram. They said, someone asked, what protein treatment do you use? Well, I don't really have a product I use for my protein treatment because I'm low porosity hair and low porosity hair does not like protein. So I use DIY, DIY for my protein. Um, it's a mixture of lemon, mayonnaise, um, honey, banana and avocado. That's what I use. And I also add honey sometimes if I want to do that. The reason why I don't add eggs is because sometimes our strands do not absorb egg. But if you want to use egg, if you want to use egg, you can always add your lime because lime breaks down the micro particles in eggs so our hair can absorb it. So the second question is what do you use on your brows? I love the way they look. Said she loves my brows. Oh, thank you. So I'm assuming. Okay, I'm coming close to the camera and zooming in, so you guys can see the brush she likes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't let me you. I'm not how to sing. I'm not even in the choir. They chase me out. I don't do much of a thing to my brows. I just put my hair, the same oil I put on my edges at night, and then I put it on my brow too. And every time I massage my hair, my scalp, I also massage my brows with the same oil. And then when it's bushy or I need, it's time to shape it, I don't use razor blade because when you use razor blade on your eyebrows, even if you're careful, sometimes you end up cutting off your tail this is what i call my tail this so your eyebrow will be short and hanky so i don't do that i just use my tweezers and then i pluck out the hair it's very painful though but once you start doing it it's going to be like it's going to be easy and it's going to be such a breeze your eyebrow will not be growing will not be having new growth every day it's just take you like maybe a week for it to just take up the new growth and all so that's what i do and then to lay my eyebrows because they don't hear words i just use the same gel i use for my edges anything i do to my edges i do to my brows and it just grows thick on its own don't pick it often that's what i do i just use my 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 gel put it on shape it a little bit maybe i should do how I take care of my brow video so I can have everything in detail because I don't have it anywhere. Then the circle the third the third question here is my fro is not growing. I experience much breakage. What should I use? Um first of all, um breakage could be a sign that you don't have protein in your hair. So I would suggest that you also 
do protein treatment i just left the recipe for my protein treatment here or you have much protein in your in your hair and it could cause breakage so if you've been doing protein treatment a lot or the products that you use contain lots of protein or you've been putting lots of protein into your hair i suggest that you cut it down so you can know which is breaking your hair and what should i use i already left a recipe for it what should i use mm, what should i use okay she also said her hair is not growing so i suggest you you know deep condition your hair more get a very good re regimen that works for your hair and be consistent with it deep condition your hair when it's time wash it massage your scalp do protective styles you can do easy twists like i'm wearing my twist twist and my favorite protective styles and i'm gonna have a video of how i install my twists on this channel very soon for you guys to watch if you would love to learn how to twist your hair so put your hair in protective styles that is the key to growing your hair you have to protect your ends because they are very very delicate and they're the oldest part of your hair so baby you gotta pay your respect you hear me pay your respect by protecting them take care of them because they build all your hair journey you know what i'm saying okay. so the third question is what products do you use for your hair oh god i've answered this question like hundreds of times and someone should please tell me stop touching my hair <laughs> okay the products i use for my hair is permanola naturals product that is the product i'm using for my hair the product is so nice whether you're high porosity medium porosity or low porosity the product works for every natural hair texture and type okay i'm going to leave okay i'm going to leave the link to their website on the description in the description box so you guys can check it out and order if you want i'm also their ambassador so you go and support your girl by getting a product because every time you get a product i earn a percentage so go out there and support me so peppermint oil lemongrass oil acv that's apple cider vinegar but make sure you dilute all these oils that i just called with other oil because they are very much concentrated and they are essential oil so don't just apply it to your scalp make sure you're also using a moisturizing shampoo to wash your hair so your scalp is not severely dry all the time so so the next question right here is hey i just want to know if you make your twist and it's really wet and has a lot of condition on it would it still come out coily yes of course it is going to come out coily in fact when you make your hair down but not soaking wet it's still going to come out coily but i don't advise you use conditioner to make your twist or else is leaving conditioner but if you really want it to come out really curly you should use a twisting cream to you know twist your hair so that when you do them twist out the curls are going to be popping like popping like it's popping yeah and actually use Pramodena Naturals twisting cream to actually that cold so check it out this before how do i make my hair soft it is dry okay for dry hair and hair that is very very hard to manage i recommend you actually do moisturizing the conditioning more often my friends Deep conditioning changed the whole game for you. I'm not going to see here and lie to you. You need to deep condition your hair and you need to moisturize your hair as often as it gets or not. This twist I'm having on, I moisturize them every two days and then I moisturize my scalp every two days. 
depending on how much of the moisture sometimes i do it on a daily basis like when i'm seriously massaging my scalp i do it every day and if i notice my scalp is dry i moisturize it by putting in by spraying in a little water using my spray bottle and i just massage my hair after spraying in small water i just massage it so yeah you have to moisturize your hair to achieve soft and manageable hair and deep conditioning your hair helps lock in moisture into your strands for a longer period of time than just moisturizing it because you the heat is going to open up your follicles and your hair is going to absorb in those moistures and they are going to stay there for a while before your hair needs another moisture and then the one you do every other day is to just add on the one you've done until your next deep conditioning day so deep conditioning is good it's going to change the game for your hair you won't ever complain about hard hair just deep condition your hair use do a moisturizing deep conditioner and then once in a month to a protein deep conditioner so your hair does not get breaking because of too much moisture so you can balance your moisture and protein balance in your hair so in order to achieve soft hair my answer to your question is to moisturize your hair more often using LOC method or LC method which is a liquid oil cream method or liquid cream oil method so I use the LCO liquid cream oil method and also to moisturize my hair that is what I use to moisturize my hair and since I started the conditioning no more dry hair issues okay yeah so this is the end of this this is how much question that you guys asked me if you have other questions or if you have any other video you would love for me to you know put on this channel make sure you leave it in the comment down below if you like this video gives it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel and i'm going to see you guys in my next video